All aboard, it's Jang here with a look at a Playmobil City Action Set. This is the Construction Excavator, and it comes with one figure as you see there. This is a little bit of an older style, um, also I believe larger style of excavator. Larger than, than the norm you usually see around cities and such, I believe. It has a very large bucket on it, and uh, this is actually still built in a, a relatively small scale. You can see relative to the figure there. The main actions here have to do with the movement of the arm and the bucket here. The boom and the bucket. And you pretty much have just kind of a free, mo free motion here. And you control everything right from this one handle. Obviously, it's able to turn around. And you've got the, the tracks that can move forward and back. Those are surprisingly loose, actually, the, the tracks. You know, to have actual rubber tracks, this is the first time I've gotten a, a tracked vehicle from Playmobil of, of this size, and so it's, it's new to me. But to be able to actually move something with tracks on a real rubber tracks like that, that easily is good. It's, it's good design. The nice thing about this single handle here, even though it kind of looks a little bit too obvious, it kind of sticks out there, so it makes it really easy for kids to, to get in there and just scoop stuff up, scoop stuff up, move it around and dump it, all with just one hand. So you don't have to be using multiple hands. This is a very natural playing action, you know, it just kind of, kind of mimics the natural action of a kid digging in sand or something like you normally would do in a, in a sand box. This also has the ability to lock the bucket. There's a little switch right here, kind of a switch, that you just can push down. It's gonna stop right there. See that little white part that sticks out? That'll stop it. So now you can just pick up the entire bucket. It'll, it'll lock it into place, but if you want to dump it, you can kind of move this around and then just let go of this. The weight of, of a load in the bucket will just pull it down and it'll just dump it, everything that's in there out. Another thing that locks is the main arm. There's just a small little lock for that. So when you pull all of this up, if you look kind of inboard back behind there, there's a little spot where it'll clip in and those will just connect together. And there it goes. It's kind of a, a big snap, but now this, this whole arm is not coming down. See, that's pretty sturdy right there. And then if you combine that with the lock on the bucket over here, then you can get it to the point where it's kind of in storage mode. One other thing actually locks as well is the entire rotation of the top section. Normally you can just rotate this completely freely around with the cab, but here's the other lock right here, and there's what it's going to lock into. So as long as you have this lined up straight forward, a little piece will come forward into that. There it goes, and you just barely see it fits into there. And now this is not going to turn. So now the entire thing, the whole vehicle is completely locked up for storage. And it just, you know, it kind of puts it into a smaller space. It's taller this way, but doesn't take, a, take up as much horizontal space. One big surprise for me with this set, given how kind of sim simplistic its color scheme is, is that it has 21 stickers on it. A little sticker over here, sticker on top, sticker, 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 sticker. See, all around it actually has a surprisingly large number of individual little stickers, even though it's mostly just a solid colored thing. The cab cover rotates back to give you access to it. It just kind of snaps into place. And you have two control sticks that are very easy for a Playmo figure to get in there and hold on to. It's almost just the, the perfect, well, it is really the, the perfect setup. See, it doesn't take any fiddling to get it to line up. And that's a, that's a good look there. And it, it, they do leave it open on the front so you can still see the face of your guy. There's a closer look at the figure. And this one does fit in pretty well with the color scheme of the excavator itself. It's got, looks like, kind of slightly baggy cargo style pants on. The vest looks like it may, I don't know if that's a, a work vest or if it's supposed to hold tools in real life. I'm not familiar with that particular style of garb. So you got a couple little simulated uh, pockets on the sides of the pant legs there. And he does have the microphone boom coming across the front so he's able to Stay, stay in contact with other folks who are working on the work site and make sure that everybody's staying safe and such. Lastly, the set also includes this tool caddy, which can be held by the figure as long as you have the short side towards the figure, but this is kind of a lot of stuff to have in there. It kind of makes it imbalanced, so it's, it's best to have just a couple tools in there at a time, unless you have a, a 
properly secured base that you can place your figure on. And this has a number of tools in here that can actually be used for doing maintenance on the excavator itself. So you've got an oil can here, you've got a sledgehammer which is more for demolition but sometimes things get caked up on treads or get stuck in the, the tines of a bucket or something and then you've got a nice uh, a pair of spanners here, one that's adjustable and one that's a box style. To me this is not one of the more visually appealing pieces of construction equipment from Playmobil and I feel like it might not be the greatest thing for collectors mostly because of that big handle on the bucket. However, that big handle on the bucket makes it just excellent, wonderful, perfect for playing in the sandbox. This is something that I can just see kids just never wanting to get away from if you have access to a sandbox or any area that just has some, some loose dirt. This is just the type of thing that invites young hands to get down in the dirt and just dig for hours. So maybe not the greatest thing for collectors, but a perfect toy. At least that's what I think. Feel free to agree or disagree. Please do share your thoughts about the set if you have any that you would like to share with myself and the rest of the viewers by leaving a comment down below. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. I hope that I showed you everything you wanted to see about this set and I hope that you'll come back to check out more of my videos because more are on the way very soon. Catch you later.